Josh's Order Corner. That's me. All right. I don't know everything about this band. They're from Chicago. They call themselves Hoodcore. Uh, the band is called I Bet, and I adore them. I think they're fucking rad. I think they are so cool. If you like bands like E-Town Concrete, you need to check this band out. Uh, their website where I snagged this item right here says... Transfer Power Records proudly presents I Bet's first full-length record, Stop Playing, for the first time on vinyl. Perfectly blended hardcore with elements of hip-hop, this album is nothing short of pure, raw aggression. Southside Chicago hoodcore. Right there. Now, when I got it, there was something, pal, about... Uh, it, like a, an extra variant that they were randomly slipping in there. So you might have that in here. I don't know yet. Uh, the sticker on the back says death stings as the pen uh, pendulum swings. It's just kind of hard to read. Death stings as the pendulum uh, swings transfer power records. I always cut this and I never understand why I don't just pull the piece you're supposed to. It's kind of heavy, which and I've seen the mock-ups. The band shared them on their socials. And they look... Not even mock-ups. They had the real ones. The mock-ups looked great. But then seeing like the final piece come out, they looked fantastic. So I'm really excited. Ooh! What? Oh my gosh! I got a test press. Holy shit! There's the test press. That must have been what the random piece was. Holy shit, that's really rad. I'm stoked. Thank you. If if anybody with the band or with Transfer Power Records sees this, thank you. That's amazing. I'm really excited. And then here we have, there's a sticker in here. Transfer Power Records. Of course, there'll be links to everything down below. And then let's take this out because, like I said, this is a gorgeous variant. So here's the cover there. And, you know, if you watch Vinyl Ventures, you know I don't normally go back and edit little details in, but I'm going to in this case. Let's take a look at this. We got Stop Playing, the full record from Ite Bet. The album art was actually done by Maurice, a.k.a. Mo Cyrus, of the band. And I'm pretty certain that that's Al Capone. And if he sees this, please correct me if I am wrong. Uh, but the faceless gangster right there in Chicago hood core, Al Capone just makes sense. So you got that. We have on the back here, I bet the track listings, Chicago Hoodcore established in 2020. We're going to take a listen to one of the tracks because that's what we do. It is a six piece. This album displays newly recorded and mixed music, including the very first demonstration. Advanced apologies to those that have waited for this masterpiece. We understand this was highly anticipated and wanted to give you the best product possible. Was it worth the wait? Sure was. As we gradually grow as a band, the chemistry between us mutates so we can guarantee or so we can generate the sound for our next album. Much love and peace to those who have contributed time to this project. We couldn't have done it without you. Maurice Maruccio, a.k.a. Uh, a.k.a. Mo Cyrus. I can't talk today. This is sick. Let's set that there. So we got eight songs, one of which is... Um, what we're going to listen to here in a moment. 2023 recordings of Hole Up. And may God have mercy on your soul. I don't fuck away with this right into it. Right into it. Southside Slugga. Fish and Chips. Ooh, damn. Universal Chess Move. That two step. Right in the hip hop, stuck on stupid. And then 2020 demo of Alpha Status on Bettingham and accountability. Uh, let's look at it because I'm gonna have to put some pictures in here as well, so you can really see the light behind this thing. Because right here, it looks great. It looks great, but if you can see the light through it, and I've done this before, and it didn't go too terribly. So let's see how this goes. Turn that down. 
Ready? Let's see how this goes. Is it doing anything good for you? Not really. Let me get a better picture of it for you. And I'll show you. Because it, it's a gorgeous pressing. And it's heavy. It's nice and heavy. So you have that too. It's not some flimsy piece of shit. It's very well pressed. And they sent it in one of these that has the uh, dust ring in the center there. So it keeps it nice and clean. Let's take a look at the test press as well before we jump into the song. This is going to be a little bit longer than normal, but you know what? I appreciate you for sticking through. All right, let's open this up. So there we have the cover. This is number four out of five. Holy shit, that is so cool. Um, the texture to it is really cool. Like, it feels great. So that's number four out of five. I bet. And that's probably just, yeah, standard black vinyl. That's really cool. I'm stoked, man. Thank you. That's cool. All right. I'll stop saying that's cool. All right. So let's listen to Accountability. It's the last track on this collection. And I got to say, it really gives you mostly the hip hop vibes to what they're doing here. And I fucking love that. Mixing everything together. There's some clips from their live show. Seeing how it works is key. And I'm telling you, we need, I bet, Face Rack from Pennsylvania, E-Town Concrete on a bill together. Someone's going to get hurt. Like, that would be such an amazing show, but someone's gonna get hurt. Accountability. I guess that it's gonna pull in some live stuff from their show. You're gonna see their balance, like how they can have more core music behind them with those hip hop elements in the vocals up front. And the crowd loves it. Like, you can pick it up. It's hard to get answers. You see elements that we saw in so years ago. You don't have to park the dancing as much these days, and they're bringing it back to make it happen. It's a fresh take on an old sound. I wonder what the venue is where they're playing to. And it's just so down and dirty. It's almost like no class in Cleveland. Yo, put your money, put your money, yeah. Yo, put your money, put your money, yeah. Yo, put your money, put your money, yeah. Mic grab. Mic grab. Look at that. Eating it up. Like, getting the crowd involved like that is key for live show. And these dudes definitely got it. Possibly, can now it's gonna have a nice fade out with kind of what we heard in the intro. You gotta check out this band. If this isn't your style of music, I feel bad. I think that you really need to expand your horizons. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to their Instagram and give them a follow. I want you to go to their Facebook, give them a follow. I want you to go to Transfer of Power Records. There's a link down below and get you a copy of this album right here. Stop playing by Ite Bet and beg for them to come to your city, especially if your city is Cleveland, because this is a band that we're going to want to keep an eye on. I feel like they have a lot of big things ahead of them, and I cannot wait to see what they accomplish. 
Stop by next Sunday, 7 p.m. We're going to do this again. Vinyl Ventures every Sunday right here on Josh's Horror Corner. Do 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 do